In this video, we're going to try to inspect and start up a Champion Chipper Shredder. We're going to inspect the chipper for any stuck debris before starting up the engine to test it. We will begin by checking that the engine switch is in the off position. We will then check the fuel lever is in the closed position. Now we will check the chipper chute. The chipper chute assembly has a rubber block covered with a plate for safety. A 10mm wrench and socket was used to remove the fasteners on the plate. This chipper was purchase used. Since the chipper is used, we want to make sure that it's free of debris or any kind of material. With the fasteners removed, both the plate and the rubber block can also be removed. The lower chipper chute assembly is where sticks and branches can be inserted to be chipped. As seen, there is a small branch in the chipper chute which was removed. Looking down in the chipper chute, we can see no other plant material. The widest opening for the chute measures about 4.5 inches or 11.4 centimeters. The chipper is marketed as 3 inches or 7.62 centimeters. 3 inches is likely the diameter of the tube for the chipper chute. As seen, the opening is slightly smaller than 3 inches because of the welt inside of the tube. With the chipper chute clear, we will reinstall the rubber block and plate with the 10mm fasteners. Next, we will remove the maintenance cover also with 10mm fasteners. With the maintenance cover removed, we can see into the impeller assembly. This view of the impeller assembly will also allow us to see any other debris that might be stuck. With the impeller assembly clear, we will reinstall the maintenance cover using the fasteners. With the collection bag removed, the flange bolt for the chute deflector can also be removed without tools. With the flange bolt removed, the chute deflector can be swung up to give another view of the impeller assembly. Looking into the outer flail housing can also give a good view for stuck debris. Before our engine startup procedure, we will check the fuel level. This is a 224cc or 13.67 cubic inch 4-stroke gasoline engine. The fuel tank includes a fuel gauge at the top. The fuel tank has a max capacity of 3.1 liters or 0.819 gallons. The fuel tank cap or fuel cap can be removed by hand. As seen, the fuel gauge displayed full and the fuel level is almost to the top of the red fuel strainer. With the tabs in line, the fuel cap is first pushed down then rotated to keep it in place. With a full tank of fuel and the machine clear of debris, we can begin the startup procedure. The oil check is the first step in the engine startup procedure. That being said, it's likely that the oil level was meant to be checked on a cold engine. We can remove the oil filler cap with a dipstick to check the oil level. Once the dipstick is unscrewed, it is cleaned with a paper towel to get a new check. The dipstick is pushed back into place without rescrewing it to check the oil level. The dipstick comes out at an angle so the reading will be at an angle. If the oil level is at the middle of the stick, then the engine oil is full or at the max. If the dipstick is dry or the oil is at the bottom mark of the stick, then the oil level is low. If the oil is at the top mark, it is overfilled. The oil also may be at the top mark when being checked on a hot engine. Another visual check is that a drop or two may come out of the engine. If the oil is overflowing, then it is overfilled. The oil capacity is 16.9 fluid ounces or 500 milliliters. The oil viscosity is 10W30. Sometimes different viscosities can be used if the engine is operated in extreme temperatures. With the oil check done, we can turn our attention to the fuel valve and choke lever. We will move the fuel valve to the open position. This will allow fuel to flow from the fuel tank to the carburetor. We will move the choke lever to the choke position. This will choke or restrict some of the air. This restriction allows more fuel or a more rich air-fuel mixture to help start the engine. Next, we will turn the engine switch to the on position. Turning the engine switch to the on position will allow the electrical circuit to be closed. This closed electrical circuit will then let electricity flow through the ignition system. Now we will pull the starter cord. This will rotate the flywheel and crankshaft to start to rotate the engine. The choke lever is then moved to the run position. This will allow more airflow and the engine should continue to work toward operating speed. Now we will start our first test. In this test, we're going to use some dry bamboo. 
Although it is off camera, safety gear, including eye and ear protection, is being used. The chipper seems to be strong for its size and engine displacement. I pushed some of the smaller bamboo with the other bamboo. The machine also pulled some of the pieces into it. A dedicated push stick would help out with this. With our first test done, we will now stop the engine. We will move the fuel valve to the closed position. This will stop fuel from the fuel tank to the carburetor. The engine will still run for a little while until the fuel is empty from the carburetor or if there was no spark. We will move the engine switch to the off position. Turning the engine switch to the off position will open the electrical circuit. The open electrical circuit will stop the electrical flow through the ignition system. Without electricity, there should be no spark. This switch may also stop the engine quicker than waiting for the fuel. Now with the engine stopped, we can see what happened to the bamboo. With the engine stopped, we can remove the collection bag from the chute deflector assembly. Looking into the collection bag, we can see the wood chips. As seen, the chipper can grind dry bamboo into small pieces. The larger, longer pieces are from the smaller diameter sticks. Although some of the pieces are long, they are still good to add to a compost or mulch pile. As long as the pieces are dry and fit the diameter of the chute, I think this machine will be good for light duty chipping. That was a good first test. Thank you for watching.